friends this is a soft cataract and I am using my hold and tilt technique to manage this nucleus you can see that I used vacuum to hold the nuclear mass and I have tilted it and I am working on the prolapsed equator of the nucleus and it takes a very short time to manage nucleus in this technique hold and tilt technique or lens tilt technique when the lens is prolapsed by hydro dissection alone on equator prolapses out of the capsular bag by hydro dissection alone I call it lens tilt technique and if it doesn't prolapse nicely I have to use some vacuum hold the nuclear mass and then tilt it then I call it hold and tilt technique so the nucleus is removed and now in this case my aim is to show implantation of a multi-piece intraocular lens in this case I have selected a sensor multi-piece intraocular lens from about medical optics at this time I am removing the cortical lens matter and at this particular time we can see good uh, red glow the microscope I am using uh, is a very basic microscope like a 651 and I am using this microscope for the last 15 years and it's doing very well and by this time the cortical lens matter has been removed and now I am going to take the intraocular lens first is to fill up the capsular bag and then the anterior chamber with viscoelastic substance and this is HPMC for multi-piece intraocular lenses I enlarge the incision a little bit uh, say by 0.3 millimeter so the incision size becomes about 3.1 millimeter and now this is the lens the lens is placed on the cartridge from behind I just advance it and fold it I take care of the haptics both the haptics should be the leading haptic should be in the groove and the trailing haptic should be outside the group. Now here goes the intraocular lens. The leading haptic finds its place in the capsular bag. Here it is. It goes into the capsular bag. And the trailing haptic, I don't try it to implant it by the piston itself I, this is a little bit of HPMC on the anterior surface of the intraocular lens and then I hold it with the Macpherson's forceps and place it in the capsular bag now we can see some white thing white material is sticking to the optic of the intraocular lens near the edge sometimes it is more and I find this very often in sensor cartridges sensor and technis multipiece intraocular lenses so with the Simco cannula I just flush this white material which sticks to the optic of the intraocular lens I remove it and I remove most of the viscoelastic substance also by uh, Simco cannula and now I'm going through this side port and removing some more viscoelastic substance. We must be very careful in removing all the viscoelastic substance. And now I take the irrigating probe 
of the bimanual IA and flush antechamber, go behind the IOL, irrigate the posterior capsule so that some more polishing occurs and whatever viscoelastic substance was there come out. Now I use both irrigation and aspiration together and that's it. The lens is looking nicely centered. Dear colleagues, I believe that this multi-piece lenses center very well and this lens is a good only thing is uh, we may have to enlarge the incision little bit 2.8 millimeter is okay but we have to stress the wound to introduce the lens in the entry chamber so this is the final wash and the antechamber is formed like this and the case gets over. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Hope this video will help you in implanting multipiece intraocular 